I think the perception is that there's all these rules that favor the offense mm -hmm. and that no one tries on defense. And I, I think there's a lot more nuance to this than people are talking about. And I've tried over the last few months to try to explain things on my podcast. I want to start with one simple concept, and that's just space. The amount of space that has been created by the three-point evolution, the amount of space mm -hmm. that has been yep. created by teams embracing analytics and the fact that players, as they come into the NBA, what's the number one thing you have to develop? You have to develop a three-point shot, and that is not just positionally. That is across the board. The hand-checking part, like, that rule evolved a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So in 94, uh, you couldn't hand-check in the backcourt. 2004, they eliminated it altogether, all right? Offensives have gotten better and better and better, and it really comes down to strategy and analytics over the last, let's say, 10 years, I think, is the inflection point, particularly with the Warriors, okay? So you can bring back hand-checking, and I'm – look, if you want to bring back hand-checking, that's fine. But just, just, just to be clear, hand-checking was never allowed in the scoring area. It was not allowed below the free-throw line, okay? Correct. People never talk about that. <laughs> All right. If you hand-checked an offensive player – you guys watch basketball. If you hand-checked an offensive player right now, He's at the top. Luke is at the top of the key. James Harden's at the top of the key. Kevin Durant's at the top of the key. Jalen Brunson's at the top of the key, getting into his dribble package. And you put your hand on him, which, by the way, again, you couldn't just put your hand on someone and leave it there. It's Probably a draw file. It's a hand check. Do you not think they're skilled enough and smart enough that they've practiced this enough that they're literally just going to gather the ball and go into their shooting motion and get a, get a shooting foul? Like wow. hand checking is not James hand Hard. checking is not the answer. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what I think the answer is. Luca has talked with me about this twice now. The answer to me, if you want to give the defense and a, a, a rule that would favor the defense, we need to get the rid of the defensive three second rule. Mm. We need to go to the FIBA rule where you can be in the paint for as long as you want. Why was the defensive rule put in place in the first place? Why was that? Because we got rid of illegal mm. defense, which had all these convoluted rules about where you could be on the, on the defensive end based on where your offensive player was. Why did we put it in there? We put it in to create space. Now there's too much space. Let's put it back in. Let's put in the three seconds. You are allowed to be in the paint as a defender for three seconds. I, I'd love them to implement that rule, and I think it would help the defense. Hey. <clears throat> I never thought about that, but... I JJ makes a good point when it comes to that. If you take the three-second rule out of out of the NBA, the defensive three-second rule, then with all the space that's being created, then it would definitely help the defense. I mean, one through the five are shooting threes. Now, I was just talking about that when it comes to, you know, the, the all-star game. Everybody on the court can shoot a three. If you can't, if you can't shoot the ball, you Almost can't play nowadays, you know. So that's that's space in itself. Everybody's skill package is crazy right now, you know. People handling the rock and passing and all that, and with all that space being there, it's gonna be a lot of points being scored, especially if the offensive side has all the advantages. I mean, when you look at the NBA, these are the best players on earth, right? So no one person would just be able to just stop anyone anyway. You know what I'm saying? So. You putting that, if people can camp in in the paint, that would definitely help the game. Because right now, I think the game is just so fast. It's always been a fast game, but it's just super fast. And a lot of people are complaining that it's kind of just redundant. It's just up and down, right? And um, I feel as though it needs some sort of balance. And if it's all the way offensively, offensive and the defense is kind of there, but not really there, a lot of people just don't like that. They just they feel as though the purity of the game isn't there anymore. That's why they always talk about like the 80s or something. Yeah, they played more defense back then and stuff like that. But I mean it was more physical, but the skill set, everyone wasn't shooting like that. So as JJ said, the space wasn't there. Now that you have space, all right, we might need to bring that people can, you know, be in the lane again. If they bring that rule back. It's funny because it's always evolution. If they if they bring that rule back, then I definitely think there will be way more posting up. You know what I'm saying? Um, the game would definitely slow down a little bit too um, because you got to strategize and just be more strategic on how you're going to attack these defenses. When we look at how they play in the Olympics and FIBA games, like 
how the game looks. It, just, it looks different. And, you know, is that one of the things that us as fans would like to see as a product? Like, we like collegiate basketball, we like the way they run. And I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. Do y'all agree with J.J. when he when he said what he said about the, uh, the defense of three seconds? Let me know in the comment section. I appreciate you all watching. I'm out of here. All right. Peace.